welcome to everyone that wants to uh, listen the words of this testimony. I would like to introduce uh, Brother Kenny Capps, evangelist from North Carolina, to say some words of uh, encouragement and also the words of testimony concerning supernatural ministry of William Branham, God's humble man, and uh, he himself and his uh, family, they started to attend to Branham Tabernacle, Jeffersonville, Indiana, at the local church of William Branham in the late 50s. God bless you. Uh, we're happy to be a part of this video project today. Uh, I'm uh, quite privileged to have grown up uh, in Jeffersonville, Indiana, attending uh, William Branham's home church, which would be the Branham Tabernacle there in Jeffersonville. Uh, my family uh, started attending there around 1959 or so. And uh, my father actually became uh, Brother Branham's song leader there at the local church from about 62 or 63 up through 65. So we were uh, um, able to see a lot of things and to be a part of a lot of things that the supernatural things that, uh, that occurred there at the tabernacle in Brother Branham's ministry. Uh, one particular incident that we're just going to touch on this, this, this afternoon. Uh, I was there the morning that uh, Brother Edmund Way uh, was raised from the dead. I was in the tabernacle that particular morning. And uh, I was sitting about six or seven rows back on the uh, left-hand side as you look toward the pulpit. And uh, I can remember very well, uh, the service was just about over. And uh, Brother Brandon, the, the man of God, asked uh, everyone to stand for dis dismissal. And uh, as he had everyone stand and was ready to pray for the dismissal prayer, there was commotion in the front of the church there. And uh, I noticed that Brother Edmund Way, uh, an elderly gentleman who originally was from uh, England, I believe it was, uh, he had fallen to the floor. And uh, it, was, it was quite a commotion at that time. And uh, when he fell to the floor, uh, my father, who was the song leader and was sitting on the pulpit, he just a few feet away from uh, Br Brother Way. Uh, when Brother Way fell, uh, my father looked at him and he said, there was no doubt in my mind that Brother Wade was a dead man. He said his eyes had rolled back into his head. He said uh, his color had started turning blue. And he said this man, no doubt, uh, had had a heart attack or something and he was dead. And about that same time that my father saw this, uh, Brother Wade's wife, who was a registered nurse, she knelt down beside Brother Wade and she felt his pulse and she put her heart, or her, her uh, I'm sorry, she put her uh, ear to his chest and uh, she could not feel a pulse and she could not hear a heartbeat. And when that, that occurred, she looked up at the man of God in the pulpit, Brother Branham, and she said, Brother Branham, he's gone. I remember that very vividly, uh, vividly. I'll never forget that. She said, Brother Branham, he's gone. And when uh, she said that to Brother Branham, Brother Branham looked out toward the audience and he said, now let's everyone be real reverent. And uh, he got down out of the pulpit and he knelt beside uh, Brother Way. And uh, I did not hear a prayer that he prayed, but I found out later and heard later from those that were closer to him than I were, that he said something to the effect of, Lord Jesus, I pray that you would give this man back his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Something to that effect. And when that happened, uh, my father who was sitting on the pulpit, he said there was no doubt he was a dead man. He said his eyes had rolled back into his head. The white of his eyes was showing. And he said he had stopped breathing. He was turning blue. But when that prophet of God, William Branham, prayed for that man, that man got up and from my understanding, he left this church service that day and went home or went to a restaurant and ate a chicken dinner and lived for many, many years after that. Mm. That is my recollection of that particular event. Uh, we believe that Lord Jesus Christ is uh, the same yesterday, today and forever. He vindicates His word. We don't glorify a man, but we believe that uh, Jesus Christ, He came down in our generation to prove uh, Himself and His uh, infallible word. So uh, I believe it's not only um, signs and wonders, but it's also the voice behind the sign that's supposed to bring our lives to closer relationship with Jesus Christ. So we are very thankful for that testimony.
It's uh, my pleasure also to have here with us uh, Brother Tim Humes, the pastor of one of the churches from North Carolina, that uh, he himself and his family, they started to attend to a local church of uh, Brother Branham in Jeffersonville, Indiana, in the early 60s. And I would like to ask him also for some uh, testimony, whatever Holy Spirit put upon his heart, to share with you, um, to encourage you to believe the vindicated word in the last days and to stay with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Brother Jack. Um, I would like to just say something and, and give support to what Brother Kenny Caps has already spoken, just the thoughts of my mind. Um, you know, I was just very young, but uh, a large number of my family was in the service that day when Brother Way was raised from the dead. And uh, when Brother Way actually uh, fell backwards and, 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 and died, my sister was standing right behind him, my eldest sister. And, uh, and he actually, when he fell backwards, his, his arm brushed her and she felt the bump uh, when, uh, when he went down on the ground or there on the floor. And uh, of course, like Brother Kenny said, when the man of God, God's prophet, uh, spoke the word of the Lord and, and, uh, and asked for his spirit to come back into his body, uh, my sister said she saw him uh, take some deep breaths and, and uh, things and then she said his eyes rolled back normal from where they were just showing the white and he asked what happened and he sat up and uh, my father actually after service went out to a restaurant with brother Edwin Way and they had a chicken dinner together. And uh, I think that's what Brother Kenny had already said. Well, my father was with him and ate dinner. And, uh, and uh, Brother Way uh, continued to have a little bit of the blue color in his, on his skin and his face. Uh, it just little by little cleared up as the day progressed. And uh, the devil began to play with my father's mind that, uh, that he had just passed out and he hadn't really died. And, then he just came to. Well, that, that very night when they went back to church, uh, a couple of my sisters went up in the prayer line and my eldest sister went up there to receive the Holy Ghost and she said that just that quickening power of God was still in the building. And she walked up before the prophet and he laid hands on her and he looked up and looked like he was seeing a vision of some type. He prayed for her and the power of God fell on her and she began to speak with tongues and the gifts of the Spirit fell on her and on one of my other siblings, one of my other family members at the same time. And uh, when they left service that night, uh, my sister was so in the Spirit, my father actually had to carry her in the house because she was still speaking in tongues and under such a, a powerful anointing of God. And that continued on until five o'clock the next morning just a power of God upon her from that, uh, that particular day of God's uh, supernatural upon the church. And uh, oh, a few days later, my father went over to Brother Branham's house and he had this thought in his mind that Brother Way hadn't died, that he did not drop dead. He had just passed out and then just in a little bit he came to. And my daddy was battling this doubt. And so uh, he had dropped in to visit with uh, Brother Branham there. And so the first thing Brother Branham did when he begins to speak to my father, he says, uh, Oh, Brother Humes, he said, Isn't it so wonderful what our Lord Jesus did the other day, back, you know, when the service took place? He said, How the Lord Jesus raised our brother away from the dead. Uh, and my father was thinking in his spirit and in his heart, Oh, he didn't. Uh, he didn't die. He just passed out and then was brought. He just came back to life. You know, started uh, breathing and the heart started working again. And immediately the prophet of God spoke. And he said, "Oh no, brother Hughes." He says, "Our he says, brother Way did not just pass out and then just wake up and come to a little later." He said, "Our Lord Jesus raised him from the dead." And my father was so affected. He had tears in his eyes and he told me, he said, he said, Tim, he said, I know that if that God that was with that prophet could discern my heart and reveal everything to me about what happened that day and what I was dealing with, 
He said, I knew that same God could raise the dead. He said, and from that moment forward, he said, it was just the grace of God that had come to me, cleared up all of that, and it was just a greater vindication to him than ever before of uh, the Spirit of God that was upon that man, William Brown. God bless you. Uh, trust that will be a blessing. It was really a privilege for us to hear all these testimonies and uh, just to realize that uh, God is so good, He's the same today. Um, most of us uh, in Poland, we hadn't uh, opportunity to meet uh, Brother Branham when he was on the earth. I had this opportunity, but I really appreciate the uh, people that I, I, I can meet and they can share with this uh, real events that happened. And uh, we've got the possibility to share with you just for edification, for the blessing of the believers in Poland.